What's going on guys? It's your boy Lisa Mutupia. I'm super excited that you're here with me. We're going to be now talking about, you know, the magic of believing. The reason I chose to speak about this is because of the fact that, you know, I've been reading this book for over like three months now, but not because of I read and I stopped, but because of the fact that, you know, I read about it and then I took in some of the things that, you know, they were speaking about and I was like, you know, before finishing up reading the book, let me get back and put these things into practice. So yes, I did put some of the things into practice. I saw them playing out. So I want to teach you guys on how to, you also can be able to apply some of these things that, that I was able to learn and you can also put them into practice and see them play out in your own life experiences because what if like it doesn't matter to me that you know I get to know all these things and I get to experience all these things what matters to me is can I teach this can someone else be able to you know know and learn this and also implement it just so not because of I, I just care about you experiencing that I care about you also being able to share with more people out there so not only you're gonna be benefit from this knowledge but also the people that are around your circle and the people that you are conversating with on a, on a daily the people that you are teaching daily are going to be able to benefit from this knowledge so what i do have here obviously is the magic of believing by claudia m bristol now, so this book here i'm not gonna you know get into like you know a very deep like you know review and everything like that but what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna speak about it on my personal side of things because i was able to read this book and i was able to see how my life was able to you know not i wouldn't say change but to improve because you know i'm a person that's developing better this is personal development and i focus a lot of on personal development like we did say it's the magic of believing so normally what it does is that it helps you it teaches you um having faith with yourself now. and there's like you know literally specific steps that you need to take in order for you to be able to you know have the discipline have the faith and have the belief that you need because in order to succeed in anything that you do in order to become who you have to be you have to believe at first that that's the role for you let's say for you to become a president at first before someone becomes a president you have to believe that that role of presidency is yours and you have to believe that you are one that can really become a president and really handle president um the president level if you don't believe then it means that you won't do or, or even if you do become a president it's just going to be short term because you didn't believe that that was your role you are not in alignment with the same frequency as one that that is supposed to be in that position now. so those are things that i want us to do and why am i teaching about this why am i telling about this when normally we speak about business forex and all these things the fact is in order for you to be able to you know a master you know trading in order for you to be able to master you know um business master finances master knowing your money master how your things are, are working out on your side you need to believe at first you need to practice the power of belief because once you've got the belief done you'd be able to know that okay no i do believe that i'm one that can make a hundred thousand rands a month so once you've got that down and you start believing obviously you're going to become a person that already is at that level and obviously you're going to automatically attract all those things which is making that hundred thousand or if you are one that want to be consistently profitable you have to believe at first that you are consistently profitable and once you start believing that what it does is that yes subconsciously you are going to believe and then consciously it's going to allow you to have thoughts of what should i do in order to be more consistent oh i should practice more of my strategy i should make sure that my risk is well i should make sure i should do it. then it gives you all those things that you need in order of you to really be consistently and next thing three months later when you look you're consistently profitable not because of you you know you had to go to a lot of courses you done a lot, but because of the fact that you started off by believing and then all those things followed afterwards now so those are things that we need to focus on so now I, what, what i want to do is that i want us to just take a look at maybe three points i'll just go in the book with seven three points then i'm going to talk a bit more about that all of the points that i was able to learn and then you can also take back home something very valuable from this video but remember guys make sure that you are already subscribed if you haven't yet we are now 95,000 followers Subscribers on which I believe in the next few days or weeks would be already above 100,000 subscribers on which that can only happen if you make sure to hit that subscribe. Obviously, like this video, if you believe that it's acting or it's creating an impact in your life, obviously, if you don't believe, that means that it's something else. But if you believe, then make sure that you're hitting that like button. And yeah, let's jump into it. Okay, so now we are going to be speaking about, um, I've got here, there's a lot of topics, but I was able to just, you know, filter out the ones that, you know, I, 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 I like, I, I, I didn't see would be, you know, super available for the video. And I was able to focus on the ones that I think you can take home. Because I remember two years ago, I made a video on, you know, the power of written goals. And I was able to give you guys a detailed plan on which a lot of people still come back to me. Till this day of a video that I made two years ago. And I say, thank you very much because of you. I've got goals and now my things are working into, you know, plan and stuff. So yeah, the very first one. 
one um that i'm going to be speaking about is actually what the subconscious is now so obviously you know you do know that the brain has two um sets of um, mindsets or um consciousness now which is the subconscious and the conscious one and obviously for something to get into your subconscious um thoughts it has to literally be on the conscious mind for a very long time and repeatedly and then it's going to go down to the subconscious but now what actually do i mean so if you're one that believes that you know you are you can't read you know the market is always against you when you buy the market goes down when you sell the market goes up you know you are you are always bringing your accounts obviously that's your conscious you are always thinking that ah, i blew my account or oh, i just took a negative day i'm always taking negative days all those those are thoughts that you're telling yourself in the conscious mind what happens is that like repeatedly when you do that multiple times it goes down into the subconscious mind the second part of the brain and once it gets down there that's when you're gonna start acting in a certain way without you even having to realize meaning that even if like let's say afterwards i'm um, deep down when you take a trade you just have that mindset subconsciously of anyways i'm one that blows that comes so i don't see myself succeeding i don't see myself making money trading forex anyways you know it's tough the ones that make money trading forex are the ones that are super lucky i'm not lucky that's what the subconscious mind is saying so even consciously when you're trying to better or you know tricky strategy you're trying to do this you're always not going to be successful or you're not always you're always not going to succeed because of the fact that your subconscious mind is not ready so the perfect thing that you can do now is i don't want us to speak about you know the negative side the downsides and stuff i want us to speak about the um how you can jump over it now so one thing that I can say is that the one of the ways or solutions that I can give you is that the, you, you should actually focus a bit more on like looking into feeding your conscious mind with the right information, with the right knowledge. So deep down, it falls into the subconscious mind. I remember me and my brother spoke about winning. Me and my brother, referring we once um, on our very first interview when I sat down with him, he spoke about you know subconsciously there's what we call you can take treats and win subconsciously and i was like oh nice I, I i didn't know someone would know such information but i saw it back then but i just didn't you know when i speak with other people other traders they didn't get me they didn't understand they thought that i was just making things up you know and all those things but he understood it because if you start having like i started aff affirming to myself believing to myself doing all these things that i'm already a consistent trader i'm already one that deserves you know to make profits from the market and you know i'm living off of just trading forex even before i was even like making money legit money from the forex market i'll tell myself i'm living off of forex i'm not you know i'm all forex is the one that will take care of everything for me for me to open other businesses for me to do anything that's forex so that's just how it should be and i started believing that and automatically went down to the subconscious mind and then even now the actions that i do it's i don't have to remind myself because it's already within the subconscious mind so you need to do that you need to start believing to yourself that you know whatever that you do in the markets your trades are always profitable even if you hit a, a, a stop loss doesn't mean that you are out it means that you are learning and you are profitable you need to tell yourself that you are consistently profitable you need to tell yourself that you make money each and every day no matter what you need to tell yourself that you know you learn each and every single day from the markets you need to tell yourself that you make mistakes on a daily basis but most importantly you learn faster according to the mistakes that you make all those things you need to tell yourself positive things and i think it's better if you tell yourself let's say 10 things you write them down and then each and every day you remind yourself those things automatically it's going to go down to the subconscious mind and once it gets down to the subconscious mind that's when things are going to start changing massively for you because you are going to start attracting all those things you are going to start acting in a way whereby other people wouldn't be able to spot only you are going to be able to see but they will only get to see the results so that's actually what the subconscious mind is and how you can take advantage of it now moving over to the second one which now you can see here it's the art of mental pictures now so with this chapter here i like it very much because of the fact that you know it's almost like it is actually visualization yeah? so the art of mental pictures is like literally having to see something before it really does play out so if you are one that would like to um own a be beautiful bmw one series let's say beautiful bmw one series you want that so it's very important of you to really have that um visualization in the mindset it's very important of you to really see what one series it is what year what type of a model what color um what color um interior you know um, um, um if let's say you want to be buying it cash you need to look at how much is the car if it's half a million you need to see all those things you need to know oh, after i buy this car the gas is going to cost me this month a month if you're going to be paying installment you're going to take a loan you need to see how much you'll be paying for it each and every single month you need to calculate all the, you need to see yourself already in the beautiful experience before it really happens and you need to experience it before it does happen and that way what you're going to do is that you're going to push your body into um attracting that into real life because already if it's in the mind it means that it has to become in reality so if you're having it in the mind 
having it as the art of mental picture, having it as, as a mental picture, then automatically it's going to come into physical, um, you know, um, reality. You know? So those are things that, you know, I've done, I experienced that a lot with a lot of things. There's a lot of things that, um, you know, attract to me a bit more faster. And there's ones that take a bit more longer, like, you know, obviously attracting, you know, I don't know, food compared to attracting um, a car isn't fast. And for other people, it's fast. Let's say now if I even got 100,000 on me and a car is 100,000, Obviously, for me to attract a car that's a hundred thousand is gonna take me as long as it can take me to make a hundred thousand. But for someone that has a hundred thousand and they want that car, they can attract it immediately because they already have a hundred thousand. So the two differences of the time frame, it's not the same. But one thing that I can that, that I can say is that if you have that mental picture and you fix your subconscious mind, like it's more likely to happen in your way because everything like literally everything that like for me to be here like you know my team to be here you know um and me to be experiencing some of the things that i've done like i literally drew these things down i i, I like i i sketched it before I, I i put down a vision and then i i, I put it as a mental picture and then i started living according to that i started living according to that and automatically all these things started to attract into me so those are things that i wanted to do it's very important of you when you're just sitting down whether it's a pure, beautiful day negative day whether you won that day uh, on the market or you didn't win just start visualizing on beautiful profitable days think about um, you know, you see yourself with a ten thousand um, let's say dollars account, and you open a trade, you execute a trade on let's say US thirty. You got a beautiful setup, gave you three thousand dollars. You excited, and you know those are one of your biggest trades. And you know you are you are, you are just happy. You followed your your trading plan, and the next day the same thing. You open the market, you made a thousand dollars that day. You excited. You followed your trading plan. How would you be feeling? You see that as a mental picture. Automatically, that's gonna become a reality, and it will have to manifest into reality for you also. So those are things that you need to do. That's um you know the art of mental pictures. So now we're gonna be looking at the mirror technique for releasing the, the subconscious uh, subconscious name. So what happens is that the mirror technique is actually um you know one one thing that you know um, I think a lot of people still know about this. They practice this. Um, and maybe some of uh, some of them don't know how powerful this is, but you know, even back in primary or high school, um, you know, we've been taught that when you're doing a speech, when you're presenting a speech to your classmates and stuff, you should go and practice looking at the mirror and you know, have confidence, you know, hold yourself in a certain way, do certain things, and be comfortable. And then when you are having a speech, they you are more likely to you know get good grades, you know, have all those things. And I, as much as you know, I'm one that doesn't you know follow too much with what happens in school and all those things. I believe these are one of the things that I have to agree to when it comes to school. Just that the teachers in the wrong, they didn't teach us in a way whereby you can take this and apply it in your own personal stuff and you know make something out of it. They just taught us as speech, you do this and then you're done. So what actually happens is that you know you need to um look at yourself in the mirror and then you need to literally look and stay into your eyes and then you need to tell yourself what it is that you want to believe of yourself. Meaning that if you want to be handsome, tell yourself I am handsome, you know. Whenever I walk past whatever gender, male or female, they look at me and they're like, wow, this guy is handsome. And you know, you have to see yourself in handsome. What happens is that you are gonna start, you know, doing certain actions or certain habits that are that are um only that are done by handsome people, which is like you're gonna start taking beautiful care of yourself, you're gonna start, you know, smelling good, you're gonna hold yourself in a certain way. So even when you're walking past someone, someone's gonna be like, wow, this person is really handsome because of how they conduct, how they hold themselves. And then automatically that's just gonna manifest within you. So at first, the most important thing is that you need to believe, obviously, and then you need to be able to, you know, um say or repeat tell yourself these things multiple times in front of the mirror so before you are going to speak with someone if you are nervous you can literally be in front of the mirror tell yourself that the conversation is gonna go as planned you are gonna say the right things that person is gonna say what you want to hear and the the, 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 the solution is gonna be solved before like if you are one if you want to ask a lady out if you're about to have a business deal if you're about to you know open a trade you can tell yourself that you know the outcome of the trade would be uh, like the outcome of the trade is going to be a profitable trade because of the fact that if I do take a negative, um, you know, the negative is going to be minor and I'll learn from it. If I do take a, pro a positive, I'll learn from it and I'll be able to, you know, move forward and do one, two, three, one, two, three. Those are things that you need to do. So the most important thing is that you need to stand in front of a mirror for at least five minutes and tell yourself some positive things. Once you do that, then you are more likely to be further ahead from your competitors because your only competitor is yourself. So if you're always bettering yourself, it means that you are moving forward faster but if you're looking at who's doing what on your side then it's going to be tough because if um let's just speak in financially because it's the most simplest thing to measure if i'm making a hundred thousand rands a month and you're looking at me 
Like this guy is making 100,000, I want to be better than him. That means if you make 101,000 rands a month, you are most likely to be happy and you feel like you are gone and everything. Whereby I find out that me, I don't have any responsibilities, I don't have expenses, I don't have that 100,000 for me, it's enough. And for you, find out that you have to take care of your family, you have responsibility, you have one to three, one to three, and that 100,000 is like literally nothing for you. That's something that we need to, you know, take a look at. We need to play around with, you know, these things. So that's, you know, the meta technique. I hope that you did take it down. Hope that you guys are like literally, you know, taking notes and everything because, you know, the most important thing is to take notes, write down all these things and learn from them because if you are learning but you're not applying, then there is no need for you to, you know, learn. The very last one is how to project your thoughts. Man. So it's very important on how you project your thoughts because, you know, the, what we live on is literally a free, um, um, frequency. So let's say your goal is here and your thought, your mindset is here. There's different types of frequency levels for you to, um, you know, to, um, um, um to to actually get to in order to attract your goal so let's say um what you have to do is that you have to now project your thoughts in a certain way whereby you send out a frequency of you are within the same frequency as your goal so if it's a house you need to already be one that already is fit to be in that specific house find out that you are not ready to be in a big house like already a small house for you you are you can you know you are getting by each and every month you are getting by but you want a big house obviously it's not gonna make sense but if you've got a, a comfortable house, it's beautiful and everything, but you feel like you want a bigger house, automatically that's that house that you're already in, it shouldn't be too much for you. You should be able to, if you're paying money, you should be able to pay without any stress. You should be able to, you know, do anything that has to do with that specific house and not have any stresses. And you should now be able to project your thoughts in a certain way whereby you are now at a frequency that allows you to live in that bigger house. So you should know that, okay, yeah, because other people, yes, you can get a big house, but would you be able to get the furniture, the one, two, three, the one, would you be able to keep up, would you be able to live in there for longer which all these things so you need to firstly put yourself in that same frequency project your thoughts and put them at that frequency and then automatically you are going to start becoming a person or like even if it takes three months a year you are going to develop into becoming a person and once you become that person that's when all these things are going to show up because you have to become in order to be that's just how it is guys so those are things that i want to leave you guys with i'm sure this video is over 20 minutes now on which i believe is taking too long it wasn't supposed to take this long make sure that you guys are already subscribed if you haven't liked this video comment below what you think what is the best tip that you were able to take from this video and i uh, just can't wait to see if you really do you know appreciate such videos because i want to speak about a lot of things i get a lot of questions from people asking me about love attractions visualizations meditations one two three one two three and those things you know i actually do study and stuff so i can you know get to just speak a bit more about them just comment below let me know what you think and obviously comment below how your day is going you know when it comes to the markets and stuff so by this i will see you in the next video